Now, also, uh, speaking of uh, breaking a code, because when I came into the uh, business, uh, it was uh, one thing and one thing only. Uh, T-shirts against the suits. That's what the whole business was about. Yesterday, I'm uh, on my way home. Uh, I get a text and then a phone call from Opie uh, feeling upset because apparently one of the people on my staff ratted him out to the bosses. So I want everybody to stand up on the staff and I will uh, say who the rat is. Um, oh, Jesus. Well, obviously, Chris Stanley, sit down. You uh, are not the rat. Uh, you are, your, your dad was a junkie. You yourself has he dealt. Didn't... You know not to talk to the suits. Didn't ask him any questions. Don't though. have to. <laughs> Do not have to. So uh, now it only leaves us Fez Watley mm -hmm. and Eastside Dave McDonald. Uh huh. Fez Watley, uh, of course, uh, not only the co host of the Ron and Fez show, uh, but uh, acting executive uh, producer. Right. And I'll just say this. One of the jobs you get a B, another job you get an F. And I'm not saying which is which. This is tense. Yeah. I feel like Martin Mullen Clue. I didn't say it, but you look like Martin Mullen Clue. Now, uh, let me go over. I, I said Fez Watley, co-host uh -huh. and executive producer. Now let's look at Eastside Dave McDonald. Uh, a known alcoholic. A known person who shirks his family responsibilities. Okay, Dude, let's talk about the issue at hand. Yeah, <laughs> that has well, nothing to do with I what have, you're talking I'm about. I put together the usual suspects. <laughs> the what? One of you guys is the rat, the person that Opie had to uh, call me about and said, "Look, dude, you know, uh, it was meant as a little joke because uh, apparently the studio was left uh, demolished uh, yesterday, and there was uh, food all over the ground, and and it had been." Uh, Kicked into the carpet and taken out into the, uh, and one of you guys went to the boss over it. Eastside Dave, Fez Watley. Mm-hmm. Fez Watley, sit. You know what? Fez Watley remains standing. Eastside Dave, sit down. Yes. Fez Watley, you, my yes. friend, are a rat. You went to the boss and ratted out the O and A show yesterday. Something that breaks the code. Now that was supposed to be a meeting in confidence. <laughs> See, that fucking makes me laugh. That doesn't mean that. All that means is the, that the rat is caught. That No, that means that the walls have ears around here. The walls don't have ears. The bosses do. Your fucking problem is not so much what you said, uh -huh. but the fact that it was found out. The fact that it was found out has nothing to do with anything. You know, you know, you bring up trust. There should be some trust between bosses and employees. What's what did I just give with the t-shirts versus the suits? You know your loyalty belongs to the guys on the air. It's like being in the fucking army. The guys in the trenches have to stick together, no matter what the colonels and the generals say to them. Now, I can't believe that you can't say one damn thing around here without it immediately put it, putting it back in the grapevine. Yes. That's insane not to be able to make a comment around this place. Yes. Well, that's just ridiculous. That's a ridiculous way to live. <laughs> yes. I'm tr Everything you're saying is true. And I don't even have to sit down and talk to uh, Hicks, of course. But I'm, I'm going to even say this. I would never have to even say to Dave, make sure you don't rat on the other guys. Never. If you have a problem, we got to keep it in-house. Never. And particularly about a couple of fucking brownie crumbs or what was ever on the oh, floor. Man. Oh, this what? floor was oh, covered. Good. I'm glad I show up late. It's all it was, Showing up late rules. <laughs> it was covered in almonds and almond shells, and they were grounded. This is a brand new studio, Ron. Right. Oh, wait. I feel like the boss right now. <laughs> Sitting behind my desk here in uh, one of the girls... Let's see. He's with the uh, the geeks. Everybody likes them. The geeks, the motorheads, the stoners. You're like that fucking woman. I feel Evie McClurg from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I feel horribly betrayed. Hold on. You want some cheese? No, I don't want any cheese. Ratsy cheese. I don't want you any cheese. I want to do. I want to. I want to. <laughs> 
a good rat face. I want to rent that big rat that they have in New York City <laughs> that they not, blow up, and I'm going to put that in front of your apartment. Do not get that inflatable rat. Yeah. Now, this just sickens me, that you yes, can't have a private conversation. Dude, here's what A private conversation. There was nobody else in that room except me and the boss. That was it. It That's should have stayed... You- where you made your mistake. Well, now I know why, why the doors and the walls are all glass around here, because there's too much transparency. Kevin, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Ron, yeah. he doesn't pay his bets. He lied about seeing the movie. Now he's a rat fucking bastard. Right. I hate right. that bet, Kevin. And, what are we coming to? Oh, uh, yeah, but you had to be caught before you did. Uh, did Eastside Dave get a check for $2,000? I think Eventually. he was talking about the four Florios that are still owed. Well, there's still I'm not time for that. that. I'm not coming back to that jinx fucking place <laughs> ever again. I'm thinking next one is steaks and cigars. Uh, Eric, Eric, you're on running Fez. I got to side with Fez here. I mean, if you tell us something like, you know, something confidential with your boss, uh, it's really the boss's fault there for uh, for letting everybody know. I the mean, boss is always going to sell you out. That's what the bosses do. Here's no, the, the boss is supposed to have your back as an no. employee or whatever. Uh, I say yes. Yeah. That's never happened. The guy who has your back is O and A. So if you got a problem with O and A, you go like this: Opie, don't fucking leave the studio like that. Or else you go like this. Or maybe I'll leave a Cleveland steamer for you someday. You want to fucking get into a shit war? I'm willing to do it. Opie would respect that. Opie would be fine with that. And um, believe me, here's the funny thing. The boss isn't going to call me, and he's not going to call Anthony. You know why? Why? We don't play these fucking games. We're not going to play hen house games. Uh, Come in here with no time left. Leave immediately. That's how you treat a job. Um, but you can't do this, Fez. Uh, here's Mike. Mike, you're on the Ron and Fez show. No one should have known about this. Yes. No one should have known about it because you shouldn't have been down there playing your fucking bugle for the goddamn boss. I think it's funny how Fez is trying to turn it around. Like, I can't believe people are talking about this when actually he's the one that was the rat in the first place. He is. I am not a rat. I am someone who is who has a very nice new facility to work in the yeah. studio and would like I like to keep new things nice. Right. Pardon me for that being a crime. Let me just tell you this also about Fez Watley. He is not only uh, a friend of the bosses. He's a friend of sales. He attends sales meetings. Yes. One of them took place during his vacation. <laughs> he left his vacation a day spa. And came in here and sat down with people with ties on, coming up with ideas for his fucking live reads. And what do you think he does in those meetings to me over the live reads? Where he's yeah. saying, I read everything off the paper, and Ron doesn't. You don't think that gets back to me, Watley? Well, it shouldn't if it did come up. Things that go on in private meetings should not get back to other people outside of that meeting. But this is, you're, you're confusing where the loyalty lies. The loyalty lies to the guys who do the same work as you. We're the fucking guys that are all together. Bosses come and go. And they're all the same guy. And you can't be down there ratting out fucking O&A for, for having a food fight or whatever the hell they did. Did you see this uh, this almond thing? I Dave. saw a couple almonds on the floor. I talked to you rock about it. He said, hey, maybe get a couple guys to no. sweep them up. <laughs> Wasn't going to ever go to someone above right. Eric Nagel. Oh, wait, so wait. You, so you're like, I'm not going to fucking clean this up. Have your goddamn... Have a couple mud, guys sweep them yeah, up. Yeah, have you your can. mud interns come in here. Because yeah. when I came in, uh, the kid with the rag head was on the, uh, with the do-rag <laughs> around his head every day. He was fucking down on the floor scraping yeah. and trying to get shit up, and I stepped over him. Yeah, I had Who to cares? call facilities. Who's facilities? Facilities are the people in this building who have to clean up these giant messes. This bothers me that you even know how that works. <laughs> I don't want to know how the system works. Are you in um, meetings with promotions? Yes. Bookings? Yes. I go, go- to, I go to as many meetings as I can. I had a sales meeting this morning. I have another one tomorrow after the show. Do you walk by Jeremy Coleman's uh, glass office in hopes that he has a minute so you can stop in and talk with him? No more than two or three times a day. It bothers me. I know you're joking right now because you want to act like, oh, look at me. I'm lovable. <laughs> you're lovable, but you're mm-hmm. a lovable rat. 
and I'm glad everybody sees the side of you that I have to put up with every day. Like Mickey Mouse. Because I know one thing. You rat on Opie. I know you're ratting on me. I know it, Fez. This studio was little, destroyed. There I, was no way to even work in here unless I stepped in and did something. I get these little things with um, from sales that say, uh, you know, like one of you is doing a bang up job. One, you know, one of you guys is really let's focus it back in. And I could tell by some of the language is stuff that Fez and I have discussed about what I won't do. And then I know that he's going to them to try to rein me in. Uh, Keith, you're on Fez. I want to know what Fez was trying to get accomplished by going to bosses. Was he trying to just tell somebody, like get it off his chest, or was he trying to get someone to clean up the mess? No, it was already done because it, it, by the time I got the call, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a call from Opie at, like, fucking noon. I got it, like, 5.30, 6 o'clock with a, hey, man, you know we would never, you know, fuck you guys over. We were having a little fun. We thought we'd leave a mess. We thought you'd run with a bit. So if he tells the boss, is the bo now what's the boss supposed to do? Go to Opie and say, I heard that there was a mess? Or then he's going to know who told that. Here, here's what I think Watley tries to do. Play himself off as a hero to the boss. I got that mess cleaned up. And I'm trying to protect this new studio. When I, I know, the people who use it. When I get something new, I like to try to keep it as nice as possible for as long as possible. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. And if I needed to mention it in a closed door meeting, the door was closed. I don't see where that is a problem. That I'm doing a best, uh, my best not to turn this place into a crap hole. Dustin, you're on the Run of Fez show. Dustin. Uh, yeah, Fez was saying that he felt betrayed. Does he ever stop to think about how Opie felt? Opie, I heard it in his voice, and I'm not telling you right now. He did not sound mad. He sounded hurt. All the things that he does and to hurt him. Uh, Bill, Bill, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, ratty pneumonia. Yeah. Fatty pneumonia. Oh, and even that's not right. <laughs> Fatty's gone and ratty's here. Uh, here's Kyle. Kyle, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Fez, I got two things for you to live by. Always keep your mouth shut and never rat on your friends. It's true. Here's the way I see it tie like it was a cop badge. And I see it the same exact way. Those guys up there are the cops. And when the bosses walk around here and four of us are talking, we should all just walk in different directions. Like, oh, no, we were all on our way <laughs> somewhere else. I'm going to fucking church. I don't trust anybody who talks to cops, and I obviously would never trust a woman who dated a cop. Oh. Did you ever? Okay. No, I would, I would never be able to do that, ever. That's almost like uh, World War II. And uh, somebody's dating a fucking Nazi. But she's like, uh, I'm the same as I've always been. It's worse. I'd rather take the Nazi. Mm. Really? They got a couple things right. There's no difference. There's no difference from anyone who decides I want a, a corporate job and a Nazi. They same walk thing. the same. They fucking lock knees. Lock kneed bastards. Little mustaches. Well, only one of them. <laughs> Uh, here is uh, Chris. Chris, you're on Run Fez. Hey, the old saying goes, I'd rather li die on my feet than live on my knees. And Fez, you, under no circumstances, throw a buddy under the bus at work. You talk to him first. If that can't resolve it, then maybe go up the chain. But that is a crap weasley shit thing to do, my friend. That gets people left behind at airports on the way back from business trips. We've done it to him too before, too. Uh, here is uh, Mark. Mark here on Ronnie Fez. Whoops, let me try again. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Ronnie. I, uh, I manage a team of sales guys. One guy comes to me with a problem about another guy, and he hasn't spoken to him first. If that shit happens more than once, the rat is gone. This is fucking I Glenn Gary, team. Glenn Ross stuff. And he's, Fez right now is the Weasley little fucking assistant manager. Yeah, you're Kevin Spacey. I don't think so. No one is thanking me for getting the studio cleaned John. up. Exactly. You're a child, John. 
And a faggot. You shouldn't work <laughs> in a place of men. It's the place of men, John. Go home to your kids, you faggot. <laughs> And the way Jack Lemon turned on him as soon as he made one sale. Oh, look at you. Kiss my rosy red ass. <laughs> I'm going to go over and watch what that. Are he, what is he doing? <laughs> zippering? Yeah. It was fucking zippering. He's unzipping the ass zipper? Hey, uh, Jay. Jay, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Dave. Hey, lettuce rat. Mm. Yeah, lettuce rat. Lettuce wraps. We've heard so many stories about you. You're in bars eating lettuce wraps. You're fucking uh, down the hall, literally fucking bent over, telling the bosses, I'm going to let you know everything you're in here. <laughs> let me know anything that's going on. There is nothing wrong with either thing, e either eating the lettuce wraps in a bar you or I'm do? the conversation, the private conversation that I'm I gonna, had. I'm going to start floating bad information to you, Ratty. <laughs> So you look like a fucking idiot. Well, I just know this. I am going to walk on eggshells around here because there's apparently people I can talk to and people I can't talk to. That is what I tried to fucking tell you. You got to be careful how you talk to the bosses. They don't have your back. It's just no. insane that there can't be some sort of relationship there. There never has been in the history of the hey, world. Ron, yeah. yesterday... Us three were outside smoking yeah. and shit like that. Where was Fez? Where he was, was he? He was doing his laps That's of people to meet. And like he's always acting like, Chelsea's a lovely person. I'm like, who? I don't know who any of these fucking names are. <laughs> he knows everybody uh, and all the regular cubicles, and the rest of them was, haven't even met him yet. So he was doing his ratting during the smoke break. Yeah. I was doing Offensive. my meeting rounds. I was having a promotions meeting at that point. And I guarantee you he's selling himself as the glue of the Ron and Fez <laughs> show. That I'm off the fucking rails, and he's keeping everything together. Unbelievable. I was doing what I thought was best. And I was also doing something that I thought was going to be kept in confidence. Then why are you why are you ashamed right now? Why are you ashamed I, that you got ratted out? I am not ashamed. You did, all the boss did is the same thing that you did to him. You fucking dropped a dime. You're old enough that you remember dropping a nickel, you motherfucker. It's almost like he's a, like a rat mixed with a weasel. Almost he's like a weasel. It's like a worse. Why wouldn't he be a wet then? <laughs> Sounds kind of childish. <laughs> to me, a weasel is a fucking rat. It's just longer. John, you're on running Fez. Hey, Fredo Watley, how's it going? A always taking care of you. Would the boss tell you there was something in it for you on your own? Is that it? <laughs> I hope fucking hope he kisses over. him on the mouth on fucking New Year's Eve. I know it was you, Watley, <laughs> and it broke my heart. Later, Fez, when I take you fucking fishing and you're sitting there uh, praying. <laughs> Just, that was the saddest scene because it wasn't up close. Right. It was so far away. Oh. Fess, you're not even a brother to me anymore. When you come visit your pepper, <laughs> give me a notice 24 days in advance so I can leave through the back door. Uh, Sean, Sean, you're on run of Fez. Hey, uh, gentlemen, good afternoon. Fez, Fez, I disagree with what you did, but everybody's giving you a hard time, and you did what you thought was best, and you got to respect that. Thank you, sir. I would have well, respected it if he would have said like this. Opie, I'm going to the bus. I've had it. I'm going to the bus. That's what a fucking man would do. Or the Cleveland steamer. <laughs> uh, Jay, Jay, you're on running Fez. Hey, what's up, Ron? Yeah. What would things are different and you decided to tell some certain secret instead of going to Fez and talking to him first about it? You think I want to see myself as a weasel? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's a wat. Huh? It's a wat. You're having fun with this, aren't you? Uh, what are we? We lack of water here? We don't have enough water? No, we'll get some. We'll get, we'll get on You that. know, I'm in fucking, I'm in a goddamn in the, uh, uh, in the heat. Um, no audio in there? Also, hook this up for me, would you, Dave? I'm trying to run a fucking show. Just, uh... Just hotline him if he ever throws off. Just hotline Dave at all times. Because he can't be trusted. 
I'm, uh, I don't know what to do with you, Watley. I used to think the world of you. Did no one even think that, hey, maybe I was covering for ONA by getting facilities down here with a vacuum cleaner to clean the mess up? That I didn't let the boss just discover it? No. Not one of us considered that. Well, maybe it should be considered. Dave, don't take all day on me. You're starting to fucking drive me crazy. I'm seriously going out of my mind. I can't have him next to me. It drives me nuts. Well, not in those pants. Um, here's Charlie. Charlie, you're a manifest. Ronnie, uh, instant beanie cup uh, nomination for you. I did Chris Stanley. Uh, they're both they're both up in the nomination process today. Here's our good friend Mongo. Mongo, you're a manifest. Benedict Watley says what? What? Hey, um, I, I'd like to uh, say that we should change the name now to the Ratley Posse. All right, Ratley. No, we don't need to change it to the Ratley Posse. I had a professional meeting, a professional conversation. Now, if someone wants to go behind my back and stab me... How often do you have these meetings, Fez? Um, you Are sh- they daily? Pretty much daily, yeah. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen me in that, one of those meetings? Never, ever. Have, have you ever seen me in a boss's office? No. Hmm. Why do you feel the need to go there, then? I am just staying on top of everything. I'm, I'm staying in contact with everyone we need to. Telling secrets. Yeah, telling secrets out of school. The almond mess, which was piled high in here, was being dragged out into the hallways because there was so what? much crap on the floor. So what? What don't you understand about... Uh... It was no secret. What, what don't you understand about bros before bosses? This is what That's this right. really comes down to. Are we sticking together as the fucking guys, or are we not? And you don't think this is a uh, uh, a bad reflection on me? I honestly take it that way. I'm the one who had to talk it down. Did you get the call? No, I did not get a call from Opie. Of course not. You know why? Why? He doesn't fucking know how to speak rat. He doesn't understand the language. And he clearly doesn't see Fez as a bro. Mm. Bros stick together. All right, HTG just started a thread on uh, runandrat.com. <laughs> uh, here's Bob. Bob, you're on Run and Fez. Yeah, hey, hey Fez. She's the one who told me about you on Lettuce Wrap, though. If, uh, I knew it. If, if uh, Ole, you know, wants to trash it even more, then, <laughs> you know, where's it going to end? Yeah, good point. Where will it end? If I let almonds go all over the floor yesterday, where does it end? You mentioned the Cleveland steamer. I'm sure we were days away from that. So you admit this isn't anything but a problem you have with those guys. I admit I have a problem with a brand new, very nice studio Mm. being uh, destroyed. Uh, Less than a month in, please. Why couldn't you make the call to Opie? You got his number? Why don't you just say, Opie, you can't fucking do this? Well, I figured after I called facilities that I needed to let the boss know that, you know, because that's going to be on some sort of log. What log? Who's going to read the facilities log? It's their job to run a fucking vacuum cleaner every once in a while. <laughs> Duncan, you're around at Fez. No, nah, I just want to ask Fezzy, tomorrow, if they happen to leave a hunk of cheese around, are you going to report that? Yeah. No, you're going to take it. Because that's what rats do. All right, Fez. No, I don't know what I'm going to do, because you know what? I can't trust anyone down the hallway. Yes! I have, I have no one to speak to here. That's what I've been no telling one. you for decades. No one to talk to here. I, that, I, that's the obvious thing. You can never talk to them. Well, that's a horrible way to have to work. You want to put this uh, behind us right now? Yes. You want to make this up to Opie? All right, yeah, whatever I have to do. Crawl under his hat and somehow turn him into the greatest chef of all Paris, <laughs> where you just keep pulling his hair as he sits and makes foods. I'm not playing Ratatouille to him. Hmm? Ratatouille. Never even heard of that. It's a movie. Missed it. You're one crazy rat, Fez. <laughs> Coming up with weird movies that no one's seen. Bros. Brothers in arms. That's how I see people. We're all, when you work with that mic, you're a brother of mine. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I look at the suits as hoes almost. <laughs> That's what I look at them as. Why do you got to constantly try to act like it's 1995 and you're fucking running around with Biggie Smalls? 
Just saying, bros before hoes, you know. Frank White, y'all. Frank White. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Chris. Chris, you're on the Rock <laughs> Fest show. Can't do it. Can't say. <laughs> Chris, go ahead. Oh, uh, you're. Uh, here is. Uh, oh, here's our good friend Arch. Hey, Arch. Hey, buddies. Um, <laughs> guys, yeah. you had a great report card yesterday with the unmasked. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to. Maybe just focus on that and go the way of Earl, you know? Just do the unmasks and leave the yeah, show. Yeah, let the bosses know that you're only working on Friday, <laughs> on Sunday night. That, that doesn't go over too well with the bosses either. I'll tell you what, and this is a fucking true story, and everybody would back him up. Everything that you could say was wrong about Earl, he never once ratted. That fucker wouldn't even answer his phone <laughs> when the boss is called. Yeah, he never talked to a boss. Yes, that's a good thing. John, you're on fence. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask uh, Narcotics Officer Watley what he's getting on the side for turning his friends in, man. What I was getting on the side, what I ended up getting on the side was backstabbed when what? a private conversation got released to the public. Why is this fucking surprising to you? Why is it fucking surprising that you uh, treat yourself like a whore and the pimp slapped you around? <laughs> I don't understand what you don't get about that. Because I thought and I was hoping there was a relationship there. The relationship is with the guys that you work with. That's the fucking relationship. And you broke that. And this is a total fucking shoot right now, Fez. You cannot fucking act like those people have your back. It's not in them. No, it's obviously not. Didn't you ever see that Suits movie with uh, Michael J. Fox when he went and used the other uh, office, even though he didn't believe there, with the guy in the mail room? Don't trust the Suits. <laughs> Never trust the Suit. Yeah. She's a Suit. Watch that movie to see how much that fucking guy says the word Suit. You don't want to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> and now you can't be fucking, uh, uh, you can't be trusted anymore. No, I'm all alone, and I can't trust back. Here's our uh, good friend, Leader. Leader, you're on Fez. Yeah, Fez ruined everybody's fun and thinks he's so much better than everybody else. There's only one thing to say. Franklin! Franklin! Franklin. I am not Franklin! Franklin. Do not call me Franklin. Franklin! I am not Franklin! Franklin. Stop it! Stop calling me Franklin! Franklin. Oh, Stop at me! Oh. oh, there's pens on the floor. Why don't you fucking report it to facilities? <laughs> Did anybody else even know the word facilities? It's <laughs> fucking... I've never heard of janitors called facilities before. I think it's some new PC term. PC, oh. what are they, Puerto Ricans? That's what I call them. Politically correct. Usually I, I, I heard of maintenance, not facilities. <laughs> Stupid. And Fez, remember when you said that thing? Uh, is there one person that everybody likes? And we brought up Paul Rudd, mm -hmm. and then you brought up Regis. Right. You could have added a third name to that. And it used to be Fez Watley. Everybody liked Fez Watley. Everybody covered for him. Everybody cared about him. There's more... I don't see any reason for that to change. There's more good sentiment to Richard Flair right now. Fuck yeah, I love that kid. Dick Flair. <laughs> Talk about a fortunate name. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> and Dick Flair. He's named after his dad. <laughs> Uh, it's time for some dick flare. <laughs> uh, here is, um, let me go to Jim. Jim, you're on my Fez. So, let me just get this straight. Fezzy complains to the boss about someone else's bad behavior and then doesn't expect the boss to talk to the person whose behavior he's complaining about? Well, yeah, what did you think he was going to do? I didn't expect my name to come up. I mean, the mess was there for everybody to see. Facilities had been called. Stop it. Stop saying facilities. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to start hitting you with a hammer. And Don't. It, it ain't going to fucking stop for like an hour and a half. You'd have and to then call I'm facilities look... to get it. Oh, stop it. <gasps> uh, Dave, you're on Fez. Hey, buddy. That uh, movie was Secret of My Success. Yeah, so what? We all knew that. That wasn't the point. That wasn't the point. That wasn't a trivia no, question. No competition here. Yeah, Ron, the title you're looking for. You can't fucking trust anybody on this Run and Fest show anymore. I don't blame you. Not one bit. I'm going to shake this fucker down right now. He's probably wearing a wire. <laughs> I am not probably wearing a wire. Probably everything I say is in here is being recorded. Check his phone. Yes, it is. It's a radio yeah, show. Yeah. 
you prick. Been recorded for replay later. I'm going to tell you the truth. This was a source of embarrassment for me last night. It was a source of embarrassment. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bad, it makes you look bad. It makes the us look not cool, you know? Yeah, well, here's what I had to fucking say. Well, cool doesn't mean anything in the world anymore. I had to say to Opie, this was my excuse. Oh, don't mind Fez. He's retarded. <laughs> you know he's retarded. Because I forget all the anxious terms and yeah. phobic, and I just go with retarded. <laughs> Maybe that was a conversation I shouldn't have been privy to either. Is this because they made you look out the window? Oh, they did have me looking at videos of people hanging off of buildings. And had Jimmy take me to the window and look down. I crap myself. You, you should have shoved you. <laughs> Tom, you're on Ryan Fez. Hey, I was just wondering what Fez Finkley's going to do next time he needs some help from the boys. Yeah, remember when they took you on a beautiful shopping trip? I got uh, perfume. perfume sprayed in my eyes. I was temporarily <laughs> blinded and then was put on every website and cable news channel they got as, you being home, as being homeless. It still was a shopping spree. I didn't get anything. That's your fault. Uh, yeah. You were, you, like were, a hustle. you were the slowest of all the homeless. <laughs> I was blinded and I was not homeless. That's Wasn't what happened that there. Wasn't that Springsteen song, Blinded by the Perfume? <laughs> yeah. And then, this was the best thing on the Drudge Report. They tried to act like a crazily homeless man was fucking sprayed in the face by a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> HTG said that same day, she saw him stop in the mall and buy lettuce wraps. <laughs> it was around that That time. story's untrue. Is it? We were too busy with the homeless to have a lunch break. See, you help people out, you expect, you know, clean studio wouldn't be uh, out of the question. They ought to fucking just make him stand around with a big fucking wheel around his neck like Genghis Kong walking through China. <laughs> Wherever he goes, he's carrying that big wheel. <laughs> fucking embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. Forget about the bros, I guess. <laughs> Both will <ways>. like to. <laughs> Are you trying to get bros before I was on? I was just trying to subtly insinuate that. I've yeah. heard it three times now coming well, from you. I, I Th this think... is a bit that Fez would never let you run. He never. Uh, he rejected it right off the bat. And uh, it's a bit that me and Chris Stanley did together. We were very confident of it. Yeah, we 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 did a few of them. In fact, we were like, I remember be... you did like eight of them. Yeah, it was going to be like a soap opera almost, right. you know. And Fez, you wouldn't let them on the air with it. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't get it. I didn't it... understand the voices they were doing. I remember when I signed it with you? Mm -hmm. Signed it with my partner, and I said nobody yeah. knows comedy better than Fez Watley. True. Right. As part of the punishment, I'm going to run Bros before hoes. Oh, don't yes! run this crap. Yes, a year in the making. Has it really been a year? Fuck it, a. Just about, yeah. All right, grab the bit, bros before hoes, and bring it yes. in here. Dave has tried to get this on at least once a month, oh, yeah. and it's I was stupid enough more. to say bros, and then I saw You put three, the idea in my head. No, three times you tried to bring it back to bros, right. and I'm like, why is he doing that? <laughs> well, I did. And then I, did. I remembered the fucking bit. I did go... It's sort of like bosses or hoes, <laughs> so bros before the boss hoes. All right, this is not just to punish you, Fez, mm -hmm. but to punish all the listeners. <laughs> oh, well, they're going to love it. This is um, a lost classic, a lost classic <laughs> out of the serious vault. Uh, this is uh, Hicks and Dave, and I've never heard this bit yet, mm -hmm. bros no, before hoes. No, you haven't. Fez just rejected it and said, it's not even good for Ron to hear off the air. I even set it up and you kept talking. Okay, sorry. I gave it the radio fucking setup. Sorry. And Chris Stanley couldn't hit then. So maybe I won't run it no, now. No, sorry, sorry. Bros before hoes. And now for another edition of Bros Before Hoes. Oh, bro, guess what? My kid's math teacher is so hot. She wants to fuck me in the playground after school. Bro, we had tickets to Eddie Money tonight. Bro, the playground, math teacher, seesaw fucking. Tisk tisk. Bros before hoes. It's a bit? That was it. I couldn't even get a drink of water. Did you like it, Ron? No, I didn't even understand it. 
Let me hear another one. It stunk. And now for another edition of Bros Before Hoes. Bro, you'll never believe it. My mom's friends with Sharon Stone. My mom put in a good word with me. Said Sharon wants to fuck me. Just have to meet her at her mansion tonight, 7 p.m. Bro, remember the Charles Bronson Marathon tonight? Me, you, TBS, a couple of beers, bro. But bro, it's Sharon Stone. It's her mansion. Fuck that, bro. Bros before hoes. There's well, no jokes. Wow, <laughs> have, and how the production slams shut at the end as well. <laughs> There's no nothing there. There's not even anything to hate. It's just unfinished. And you're using the Molly's Cupcake voices. Uh, you guys did yeah. the Molly's commercial using those same voices. Yeah, yeah, those are our voices. Uh, our characters, Doug and Kenneth. <laughs> they started in Bros Before Hoes. We've done Wait. like eight commercials with them. Wait, do you... Uh... Do you call yourselves Doug and Kenneth in it? Because um, I never it, heard that. Oh, in Bros Before Hoes, we don't. But, yeah. but we were calling ourselves Doug and Kenneth off the air. And then they made it into a Ron Fez promo that was rejected. Molly's Cupcakes promo that was played only once and then rejected by Fez. Um, where, give me the Molly's Cupcake bit. Okay. Oh, this is great. All right. Let me hear it. <laughs> mm, these cupcakes are fucking good. Wrong, jerk. These cupcakes are fucking great. And where'd you get them? Where else, asshole? Molly's Cupcakes, 2536 North Clark Street in beautiful Chicago. Mmm, and this particular cupcake I'm eating is fucking awesome. That's because you're reading the Ron Bennington's got his own cupcake cupcake, dick. Mmm, delicious. Fuck you. Go to Molly's Cupcakes for the best cupcakes on earth. Or call 777-883-7220. Hey, and while you're there, ask for Mike Kaka. Who's that? Fuck off! <laughs> he all the that makes no sense! <laughs> they really don't! They don't! They don't make sense! Really? It's hideous! There's no jokes! The, the People uh, would hear that, stop and turn around and go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> it's not a linear... Set a punchline joke. Yes, it's not. It's... And the, unfortunately, that's what comedy is. <laughs> the interaction between the two, you know, and, and, and even the Doug and Kenneth promo that was rejected never heard. Let me hear that one. All right, Ron and Fez Show, 866, Ron Zero Fez. Oh, hey, Doug, what are you uh, doing? I'm listening to the Ron and Fez Show, Kenneth. Hey, I love the Ron Fez Show, Doug. So do I, goddammit. Okay, okay, I'm just saying. How do we get in touch with them, anyway? You fucking call them! 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ Asshole. Repeat after me. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ Okay, Doug, well, thanks a lot for the info. I'm not fucking done. Okay. Email them, Kenneth, you jizz mop, at ronandfez at AOL.com. Or you can instant message the show <laughs> at Ron and Fez on AIM, you dickbag. Oh, okay, Doug. Well, thanks a lot. I really Shut appreciate... the shit up and go visit them on the internet at myspace.com slash Ron and Fez show. Or the unofficial Ron and Fez website, ronfez.net. Cool. Well, again, Doug, thank Fuck you. Fuck for... you, Kenneth. For being bros before hoes, Doug really doesn't seem to get along well with Kenneth. <laughs> but I, I do like that chemistry. I really feel like they found the real characters there. <laughs> hey, that Kenneth, I don't know why he hangs around with Doug. <laughs> I don't get it. Doug is not nice to him. He tr he tr He's very picky in the brain. Yeah, I, I think he clearly thinks uh, Doug is cool, mm -hmm. so Kenneth wants to hang around. You know, they all started with bros before hoes. All that genius started there. Right. Here's uh, Johnny. Johnny Arm Run Fez. Yeah, I just wanted to tell Dave that Adam Sandler and David Spade want their bit back. This all this sounds exactly like the first Adam Sandler CD, Dave. Never heard it, and that's the what? and lie detector my ass. I never heard of any Adam Sandler CDs. <laughs> all right, now the only thing worse than Adam Sandler skit would be a fucking compact disc. <laughs> oh, look who's better than Adam Sandler. <laughs> 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 I'm a fucking. Oh, hold on, go ahead, Johnny. What? 
The only thing worse was that bit you just did. I mean, those bits weren't even funny. This was a bad, even if you're not imitating the voices and everything. I, 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 like I definitely want us to run down this uh, this Adam Sandler bit to see if okay. Kenneth and uh, Doug ripped us Bloody off. Bloody buddy. Bloody buddy. Bloody buddy? Yeah, that's 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 one of the skits. You you look it up on internet and you'll sound it sounds just like it. All right, we'll try to find that. Bloody buddy is the big uh, thing there. Uh, here is uh, Doctor Matt. Hey, uh, D- Dave, uh, fucking brilliant on uh, Bros Before Hoes. Just just fantastic. And also, uh, originally being from Chicago, the cupcake bit that was a good bit too. All right, oh, so all the Chicago you. people are real big fans of what you're doing over there. <laughs> I, I like the cupcake and I like the cups. That's what everyone does for their Chicago accent. I'm from Chicago. I like the cups. Sounds like they always have wind chill on their mouth. And that's how they got their accent. You well, wind chill Mahoney was a very, very big uh, fucking Chicago bit. Everybody loved it. Nothing. Wind chill yeah. Mahoney. Nothing. Ernest. You're on the Run of Fez show. What's up, buddy? Yeah, buddy. Somebody uh, needs to call Laszlo and uh, tell him to put that shit on a GTA or something like that. Cause that would actually probably work really well in that video game. I really do want to. I, I already put the call in to Laszlo. I already sent him an email that uh, it looks like Chris Stanley can fulfill all his Midwestern voices that he needs. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> hmm. There's a character named Doug. Hey, Matt. Matt, you're on my fez. Hey, guys. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, he says, my mom's friends were Sharon Stone. She put in a good word with me instead of for me. Changes the entire fucking context of it. makes no sense at all. Not that Dave uh, says I makes said sense. She put in a good word with Okay, you're right. Well, we didn't uh, over good. We didn't. You guys are one takers. Yeah. You go one take and that's it. That's how, yeah. That's how Forget we got, the grammar. That's how we got so many of them. We kind of Ed Wood this shit. Well, Fezzy, if I was you, I'd be quiet. You're out of the, fu- you're out of the fucking... Uh, the barrel right now. Yeah. Let's remember, we're still bros, Ron. Me, you, Stanley. No. <laughs> no? Me and Stanley are bros. You didn't even think about it, though. Me and Stanley are bros. Oh, come on. I can't be drug into your world, Dave. And that's not a fucking insult to what you. What are you talking about? What's, what's wrong with my world? My, my world's great. Yeah, we have a lot of fun in my world. You're like a fucking child. I can't put up with it. Uh, I got a break here. Uh, we're going to come back and um, get the uh, show started. I'd like to get the show started, Fez. Mm-hmm. Right now we found out about uh, uh, that we got a rat in our midst. Uh, we know who the rat is. I want to come back with this, though. Monty Python's uh, Terry Jones, 67 years old, uh, knocked up a woman that's 41 years old, uh, 41 years younger than him. Uh, and I was wondering, what's the oldest a dad could be? What's the cutoff age for a dad? 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Run a fashion.